So, while trying to figure out which one of these two 1400 VA APC UPSs is the best, uh, I came across a very curious failure mode on this one, which I had previously thought to be okay, but very obviously isn't. I've been using this uh, resistive heater to do some efficiency tests and so forth on these two units using batteries and large power supplies to supply the juice and everything went just fine and dandy with this one but uh, this one just tells me that it's overloading and it's just not working properly it's even according to the power meter it's putting out too much power to the heater however the voltage if I measure in the outlet with my multimeter looks just fine so I I thought that was mighty strange because these are both nearly identical units. They are microcontroller uh, controlled, as you can see, the PCBs are nearly identical and they are populated very similarly. So there shouldn't be any huge difference in performance in that way, and especially not to, which would make the heater draw that much power. I also measured the incoming current, and indeed it was using a huge amount of power. However, if we take a look at the scope, it's just sitting idly at the moment, but you can see that this waveform is very, very fussy. And if we zoom in a bit, or try to, you will find that there's a lot of high frequency noise there and this will become a lot more apparent when we turn on the load now you can see a very clear high frequency noise on that waveform and it seems to be very high frequency because that's a fair amount of noise but the distortion meter isn't even picking it up properly, even with no low pass filters installed it's just reading some lower harmonics and stuff like that making everything look fine indeed it's way below 3% distortion right there so what I believe has happened with this unit is that it suffered a failed mains output filter somewhere in the inverter because high frequency noise is coming through the transformer where it shouldn't so it's probably got a bad cap either on the output or on the input of the transformer now the curious thing about it is that it seems to somehow upset the feedback system on the UPS because when I turn on the load if we switch to our analog true RMS voltmeter here you will notice above all it's set to a far too high voltage it's about 240 but if I turn on the load the voltage goes up to 260 now the transient response is horrible it's really sitting around 250 volts on the output which is way too high and it seems that that uh, meter has response high enough to trigger off that, whereas my multimeter doesn't. Because if we just grab my probes and shove them into an outlet, if we can find any, which we can't. switch on our load we barely see any problems in the transient response at all which is a bit curious that too because these meters have fairly good frequency response so yeah that's a new way of diagnosing a failed output filter or some major problem with this inverter because this device very obviously isn't working as it's supposed to this one is performing just fine and uh, 
and a more <laughs> design and price performance wise uh, note you would believe that two 1400 APC units are fairly high quality I mean the Backups Pro wasn't a cheap unit and the Smart GPS would have fairly similar inter internals and indeed they do but on the 1400VA Backupers Pro they only allocated one of the input capacitors whereas on the Smart GPS we've got both the Smart GPS is also fan cooled whereas the Back UPS Pro just has huge heat sinks. It's just really odd. You'd think that these units are very similar, but they're not. Anyway, this was just a quick one-take video. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheerio.